higher. In this particular problem, see this, this is a problem regarding the GP series and specifically infinite GP series, right? So in that particular case, we'll consider the GP series, okay? So let's first consider the GP series 1, which will have all the terms, right? Let's consider the GP1 for the first series. That gives you that A, A, R, A, R square and so on. Now we'll have the second GP series, GP2, that actually gives me the cube of this term, right? So A cube, A cube, R cube, and A cube, R to the power uh, 6, and so on, okay? Now for the first GP series, right, some of the series are first term is as A, common ratio as R, so 1 minus R, that gives you 3. For the second case, A2, we'll have that the first term is actually A cube and the common ratio is R cube. So 1 minus R whole cube is equal to 27 divided by 19 and that's it. So put it as equation number 1 and equation number 2. Now our job is to eliminate A and R from these two equations. So how we'll do that? You can easily see that from the equation 1, we can uh, write A as a function of R, right? So let's write down. So we'll say that by uh, 1, we can have that a cube is equal to 27 multiplied by 1 minus r whole cube, okay? So we can use that. So therefore, if I apply that, we can say that by 2, a cube, so that gives you 27 1 minus r whole cube divided by 1 minus r cube that actually gives you uh, 27 divided by 19. That's it. So therefore, we can cancel out the appropriate terms and make a quadratic equation. So let's go ahead. So 27 get cancelled and let's write down. So therefore, we'll write that 1 minus r whole cube. How can I write this? Make it as 1 minus r whole cube. 27 get cancelled. So that became 1 by 19. Now we look for that 1 minus r, r cube. So what is 1 minus r cube? It can be written as in the formula of a cube minus b cube, right? So what is a cube minus b cube? a minus b a square plus ab minus plus b square. So let's write down that. So we can write 1 minus r multiplied by 1 plus r plus r square. So therefore, we can easily say that the 1 minus r get cancelled, so it's become square, so we can expand that, so it's 1 plus r square minus 2r divided by 1 plus r plus r square. That's equal to 1 by 19. That's it. So here, we just uh, eliminate one step. What that? We just cancelled 1 minus r or 1 minus r whole cube. So it's become square. So we are expanding 1 minus r whole square. What's that? It gives you 1 plus r square minus 2r. Now we'll do the cross multiplication. Let's go ahead. So therefore, it's implied that 19 plus 19r square minus 38r is equal to 1 plus r plus r square. Let's make that quadratic equation. So that gives you as 18 r square minus 39 r plus 18 and that's equal to 0. Okay. So that's it. So we are getting a quadratic equation, right? So we just take all those values here. So if I take r squared in the other side, we'll get 18 r squared, uh, 38 minus 1 give 39 and so on, right? 19 minus 1 is 18. Now see that that equation is divisible by 3, right? So let's divide that. So we'll get it as 6 r squared minus 13 r plus 6. Okay. That's it. So now we'll get a quadratic equation. Now, obviously, this quadratic equation need to be factorized, right? So let's go ahead and factorize this, okay? So if we go ahead and factorize that, so let's go ahead. So here we just write down that equation, imply that it's 6r square minus 13r plus 6 equal to 0, okay? That's it. So that's implied. Now see that. If I go ahead and factorize it, so we'll get it as 36, okay? So we have to write the 36 in a different approach so that we'll get it as a product, right? So if I see that, this can be easily factorized as 6R squared. So let's go ahead and we apply that. R squared is equal to minus B. So it's 13 plus minus root over B squared. So 169 
minus 4 ca so 36 and uh, 4 so that gives you as 144 divided by 12 let's go ahead uh, this is r actually so therefore you'll we'll see that it's imply that 13 plus minus this is 25 so 5 divided by 12 so that gives you as 18 or divided by 12 now 13 minus 8 it gives you actually 10 8 so therefore r is equal to 18 by 12 get 6 out so 3 by 2 and or or if I write down here 8 by 12 so 4 is gone 2 by 3 so that's it now you can factorize it as well here I just apply that b square minus 4 ca the general formula now see that here it says that that it is a infinite GP series right now for infinite GP series it is always converged right when mod r is less than 1 so therefore in every cases we know that the condition of convergent of a GP series is that mod r is less than 1 now see that here the 3 by 2 is actually greater than 1 right so we'll say that that's why as mod of r is less than 1 that means the required values of r is 2 by 3 and that's it so that's why for this problem option b is the correct answer so you have to apply that pro uh, formula of that infinite gp series do the elimination and your job is done let's go ahead let's go ahead on the detailed solution which makes all the calculation and everything clear for you here we just factorized it and we just use that b square minus 4 share the general formula so that both method are uh, shown in front of you that's it thank you